July, is it the 20th? July 20th, uh, UK Crush team call. Um, it's basically our post-summit team call. Um, and basically, we kind of want to go over, I mean, obviously, the big announcement is, um, oh, Hi, buddy. is the big announcement was um, uh, the launch in the UK. I mean, we knew it was coming. I think in October, we knew it was coming. Um, next year. We knew it was coming in October, but we got the official date, which is October 19th, which is cool. Um, Kim and I are planning to come out for the actual launch date, um, probably a day or two before yes. the 19th. And then we're- In October 17th, yeah. most likely. We will be there maybe October 16th. We just have to book our flights. And then we, um, we will stay through for the actual launch event by Beachbody, which is that Saturday, which is the um, 21st, I believe. And we'll get everyone, the, I, I believe some of the details were already posted in the group, but we will post all that stuff again and make sure everyone is in the know about that stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's exciting. We actually, we have an actual date. So, I mean, as far as this group goes, we're about three months out. Um, and we are going to, uh, we're gonna start to ramp things up as far as training and whatnot like that. And um, what I wanted to do next week is we're, we're going to come up with a day next week and we'll post a schedule in here to do one-on-one uh, -on -one calls with whoever wants them, one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls so, yep. we can, so we can tackle um, sort of your specific needs and goals and wants and where you want to take this um, and all that stuff. And we need to be doing that in a one-on-one -on -one format because we all, we all have different things we want to do in this business and that's cool and there's no right or wrong goal or success level some people like when we when new coaches join our team some of them are like oh, i just want to kind of help my friends and family and do it as a hobby and that's totally fine whereas we get other people who are like i want to quit my job and yeah be the top coach in the uk or whatever their whatever their goals are so everyone has different um ranges of their of their needs and wants so we really want to tailor that and um so we'll pick a day next week we'll put up a google docs link of a schedule that you can just fill your name in um and we'll, we'll basically book off most of the day and I realize you're five hours ahead. Yeah. So we're going to have to start really early here, but that's fine. But we'll just book those slots in and we'll, we'll tend to do this regularly up until launch time. And of course yeah. we'll do a bunch of group training and we'll start to plug in some training that way too. So, For sure. um, anything else you want to add to that? No, it's you're great. Good? Yeah. So, and those are, oh yes, I do. So <laughs> those are where, um, you'll be able to ask those questions. Those are where you'll be able to kind of start to unpack a little bit more behind the operations of this, what this looks like, what this looks like for you as you're trying to align what your brand, your vision, your mission has for your own business. Because that's the coolest part about this is that this would be your organization and we would be there to support and serve you along the way as your mentors. So that's the exciting part. So as we are, um, jumping into these one-on-one -on -one Zooms, think about that. Think about those types of questions that you'd like to be asking and what does that mean and what does that look like and you know be doing the, those kind of um, you know research based questions so that you can both grow um, and also prepare for October 19th yep um, so let's oh yeah Suzanne I need that's good so let's let's talk about okay yes yeah, so let's talk about um, some of the new products at summit so we know Shakeology is coming to the UK, um, not the vegan to start with. They're just gonna have the regular Shakeology. Um, you already have Beach Money On Demand, so that's cool. Um, and unfortunately for um, us Canadians and UK folk, um, this is the new Daily Sunshine. It is the new kids shake that um, Isabel Dekler has created, who she created Shakeology. So we got samples because we just bought them at Summit and took them on the plane with us. But these want to be, be available mm -hmm. until when? These will be available in 2018 for the UK and Canada, but it is available in the States. So for those of you that will have clients in the States, this is available, yeah. which is great. Yeah. And I, it's just, I, I think a lot of that too, it took a while for Canada to get Shakeology too because... Um, well, basically our, our regulations are I think a little bit more strict just like the UK's are so that will be coming so daily sunshine that's cool though it's gonna really help with I mean there's sometimes people can't drink Shakeology because of um, uh, allergies and stuff like that so this is another product that people yeah. can use and it is vegan non-gmo gluten-free dairy-free bam have we tried it with our kids yet? No. We haven't. We will. It's we been busy. We keep saying to Colby, we have, a, po we have a, a new shake for you because he is obsessed with Shakeology. Yeah. And he prefers the strawberry versus the chocolate. 
but he'll probably like this one. So this one's strawberry banana, great packaging. Uh, this one is chocolate, and all you need is this and water, which is great for in the afternoon. If you're on the go, you can throw it into a bag, a big purse. And actually with the shaker cups it comes in, it has a little um, container on the bottom. You can actually put this in the bottom and then you just add the water and shake and it's good to go. Yep. Um, and then a new program by Tony Horton yes. called Double Time. Not what I was expecting from Tony Horton, but uh, do you wanna maybe just explain Something totally. Like yeah. Is. You know what, too? I will post a, um, there's a YouTube um, link about it uh, from Beachbody that they have created with the double time. So essentially what it is, it is a family-based program. So Tony Horton does it. Essentially what you really need to be doing is it's like eyeball to eyeball time. You both are leaning and using a ball. You're doing a lot of really, again, it's that um, I don't want to say it's high intensity training because it's a little bit more at a moderate level, but you can still absolutely build up. There's a base level moves. Hey buddy. Um, there's base level moves and then you're working with the ball. So it's a lot of resistance. It's a lot of, um, it's a lot of pushing versus and traction. It's really, really great. It is. It's great fun. Um, it looked hilarious on stage. Um, and I think it's a really great way to connect with your children, um, and get them moving and get them active. It's something that you can take outside. You could take to a park on your, on your, um, on demand or on your tablet, you can be listening to it, and then you can be doing the movements. You don't need a ton of space um, because you're really just doing movements that are you're doing with your partner. So really, really fun. It's absolutely a family-friendly, encouraged um, program. The other cool part is you need no equipment. You could technically stream it on demand, and you can use a volleyball, a soccer ball, any of the balls you have in your home. Um, they certainly do have a ball that comes with the program, but. You don't need that. The other thing they've done, and of course this is a great um, idea from a marketing perspective, is also the nutrition plan that comes with it is geared towards your children. So of course it would come with your daily sunshine, but that nutrition plan is still available for us Canadians and of course everybody in the UK, even though our daily sunshine is not. So that's kind of exciting too. Mm -hmm. um, the other cool part that they're doing, um, not that because you can't necessarily look at it right now because you're not technically coaches yet, but they're redoing the whole oh, yeah. back office and mobile app and actually Canadians and, and UK folk, um, we're getting a, we're going to get to use that first before, um, the U S coaches, which is kind of cool. Um, and, and it needs to be redone. Um, it's a little, they've, they've used this one for a while, so that's going to be available and we'll show you how to use all that and teach you how to use all that. But that's really exciting. Yeah. They needed an update on it. Um, it's going to be fantastic. And the other thing that I'm really looking forward to it is the, I think it's just the innovation and the ease behind it. So for example, right now I was supporting a client switching from a customer to a coach today and she couldn't figure out how to order the Shakeology yet. She had to call in. The new way that they put it forward in the platform on the website is it's extremely easy. It's so, it's so functional. You're literally pushing the product you want and that takes you right back into the web pages. So the, the, I think I want to say the, the level of sophistication that has gone into uh, the new websites that are, will be launched with you guys as well as with Canadians um, is very exciting. And what's incredible about it is that you basically, the face you see on the computer is the same matched mirrored face you're going to see on the phone so it's a very it's really just sophisticated technology that's going to help serve your clients your potential coaches um, really just be able to get that product and done really easily which is going to help with the transactions um, and actually helping to serve people when they identify that they're ready for this and they're ready for a sale mm -hmm. cool so that's good so the, the, the new mobile app is awesome it's gonna be really high functioning and stuff and it's really gonna benefit you especially when when this launches um, I like the fact that we're going to be in the UK when this launches so we can, um, you can find us and come sign up with us <laughs> and, and yeah, we could do it in person if you wanted to we could do a party. <laughs> um, I actually foresee us getting somewhat of a, a boardroom and, yes. and doing that stuff. But yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that shortly, but, um, yeah, it's exciting stuff. And so some of the things too, actually let's finish off with products yep. um, and then we'll talk about some other logistical Clinique. stuff. Let's talk about Clean Week. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. So Megan Davies is the new trainer for Beachbody. She is outstanding. She was from the 20s. I don't know if any of you saw the show, The 20s, um, where they did a basically a reality show to pick the next super trainer. So Megan Davies is that. And they what they've done is they have actually launched her and endorsed her to be um, starting with Clean Week. So Clean Week is a level of, or it's a series of workouts. It's seven-day workouts. And it's something that also goes with a seven-day uh, clean eating menu plan 
as well as you have the option if you want to buy seven days of Shakeology as well. So what excited me for, for you, for this group, is that you will be able to run free groups using the Beachbody On Demand products and programs without having to sell the Shakeology, but it also gives people a glimpse at what is this? What's a challenge group? What's the meal plan? What's this um, workout programs like? So Clean Week is essentially like that. There will be some scripted challenge group, uh, kind of week a week sample plans. I will probably get in there and redo them and spice them all up and share them back with the team just because I love curating content, as you all are probably starting to discover. Um, and uh, I, I love doing that. So, But what I'm excited about is Megan Davies is amazing. There's a ton of resources for you. There is a lot of, uh, there's an incredible meal plan that's very simple. It really is just an introduction to people into what this looks like without the commitment. So that's a really exciting thing to be able to offer and a great thing for the network and for the coaches. Yeah, because before, if people wanted to try Beachbody, they would technically, they could do the trial, the free trial. But then they had to put in their credit card and they had to do all that other stuff too. This, you don't need to do that. It's actually separate from the Beachbody On Demand. It's a really cool So what are their two platform. options then? Their first option is just to do, they don't have to put in their credit card. No, it's just, it's, no, I don't know how, but I'll, we'll find that out. It's new. <laughs> Apparently. But but they also, they also have the option of trying it with Shake All Day. They do. So they essentially, they, could, they get to, it's not like just a 14-day Beachbody On Demand trial. They get to trial the, a workout program, Shakeology. And the, and the nutrition plan. So it's yeah. like they're, they get the seven-day window into what we yeah, do. And we've never, really, we've never really had that before. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. a trial. Yeah. So it should be interesting. It will be interesting to see how it lands with, people that are interested in the Shakeology because again, you have to factor in the shipping um, and there will be a nominal fee for that. And I, I don't think they have landed on what that looks like for the United Kingdom yet mm -hmm. um, or yeah. for Canadians. So we'll see what that looks like. Um, so that's one great innovation. So there's the double time, there's the daily sunshine, there's the clean week, there's the back office for coaches um, as well as the front website landing for clients that we serve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're also doing a bunch of other updates over the next six to 12 months, like they're doing things in French, they're doing things in Spanish. Yeah. And cause they, this is going to go across Europe, you guys, this is going like to Australia, yeah. to New Zealand, eventually South America. And, and those are all networks that we're all going to be tied into. And Absolutely. that's great for your business. Like it's fantastic yeah. for your business. And I know it may not make total sense right now because you might not understand fully how network marketing works and how the, your downlines and trees and legs and all that work it will make sense. We're going to yeah. do a lot of training on that. Um, but just know that it's kind of like you're, this is the ground floor of Europe, which is really exciting. Um, yeah, totally. and, and um, yeah, you're, you're in a really good position. And the one thing that we got out of summit probably more than anything is that, and I know it's really easy to talk about this stuff, but we mean it like this company and Carl Deichler, the CEO, um, he actually just means really well. Mm -hmm. and, and it's hard to say that for CEOs sometimes because they, they always feel so high up and, and you always think of they're just trying to make money and stuff like that. But man, the stuff he's trying to do for people and the cool part about, about the CEO, Carl Deichler, is if, if the coaches in the network like us, if we feel like there's something missing mm -hmm. or they're not doing something right or we want to see things changed, we can voice our opinion and they actually listen like this. The kids shake is merely because family workouts, the family workouts, because these are all things that us as coaches have said, this needs to be developed or the new back office. We're like, we need a new back office. And, we, and they just really listen to their coaches. And I think we came out of summit just, we were confident before, mm -hmm. but we're just, we honestly feel so grateful yeah. to be doing this in this company right now. Totally. And I know it's easy for me to say that and it can sound opportunistic, but we came out of summit just with more belief about what, what the company's doing and where they're going. And that's a good feeling to have, yeah. right? Totally. It was a hundred, it was amazing. You know, so, and, and we always say at the end of the day to be able to um, do this and help people and, and earn income, whatever your goals are. Um, we feel pretty fortunate. Yeah, totally. And, and I always say we've had to sacrifice a lot. Um, in the two years we've been doing this, we built this business with two young kids and we both were working corporate. So we're proof that you can do this. Yeah. But yeah, if you want it, if you want to get to a level where you actually want to do this full time and replace in your income and all that stuff, 
yeah, it, it's not easy. And if it was easy, then that, you'd call it a get rich scheme. And that certainly isn't what this is. This is about helping people. It's about working really hard at that. Um, it's about building relationships with people. Um, and it's about learning how to build a business. I remember when I started and my biggest fear was, well, I don't know how to be an entrepreneur. You know, you have been an entrepreneur for many mm -hmm. years and I, that was, I was like miss in a box. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like actually at one point I was very cemented in my box and I was not leaving my box um, until I started to learn. And I feel like, you know, I'm, we're stepping into almost our third year no, but to just about our third year in this business. And now I'm just starting to feel, okay, you know, I'm starting to get a hold of this. And at mm -hmm. six months, I felt confident. And at the next six months, I felt even more. And the next six months, I felt even more. So like any job, like any new position, like any new company you're looking into, this is kind of the exciting part where you're, it's not that you're courting, but you're away in a way you're courting a new business. You're yeah. courting a new position and it's get excited about that. Um, and know that you can start baby steps and you can, and we're right here with you. If you want to run before we crawl, we can, you just have to figure out what your pace is. And I know for you, you were ready to run before I was ready to even like, be born, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, let's say in the business, but I fell in love yeah. and you kept learning and I kept learning and we slowly started to learn. So wherever you're at, it's an exciting time. And I think that there's a way um, for us to, to support and serve all of you. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like I said, we're, we're three months out from launch date. Um, I'm going to start doing more zoom calls group wise. Like I said, we're going to start doing more one-on-ones yeah. and then um, we're going to start I'm going to start posting some training yes. in the group and whatnot, and we'll take it slow, but we've got three months, so that's going to happen fast. Is there anything that we could do for our next Zoom call as a group that you are interested in chatting about, like kind of right off the top of your head? Are there any topics that you're thinking about? Oh, Nicola. Oh, my goodness. You two look like twins. <laughs> And don't, if you don't know right off the top of your head, that's cool. Just, we can, we can add it into our, uh, onto yep. our team page anytime. Um, but just know that we're here to make sure that we're bringing resources, sales funnel. Okay. Oh, we got, we got a process for that, James. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I, I told you guys this last time, um, on the call is that, um, you know, it's good to start thinking about making a list of friends and family and people you know that may be interested in this. Um, and um, we'll get you to do some stuff with that list of what to do. Um, Cause I've got, I've got more training than you know that I can throw at you, but it, I want to be selective with what I give you. Cause mm -hmm. I don't want to overwhelm you cause that's easy to happen in this. And, and to be honest with you to launch your business, you need to learn some really specific things. And then as we move into the business, we'll give you yeah. more stuff as you move through the different things. It's a business side for me and how it impacts on my full-time role. Taxes, registering business name. Yeah, you know what? When I started, um, Joanne, I didn't register any business name or anything like that. Um, I ran it just, and again, um, Canadian law, U.S. law, um, uh, U.K., you know, uh, tax law. It, it's probably a little bit different. Maybe not. Um, our Canadian legal system and stuff is actually based off of yours, so it may not be that different. But that's something you probably want to talk to an accountant about. For me, I just I started it personally, and any income I made from Beachbody was just added on to my personal income. Yeah. And then you can do write-offs and expenses from that. It wasn't until about a year ago where, as we started to grow our business and we earned more income, we actually opened up a, a, a company and a corporation. But that's something that you don't necessarily have to mm -hmm. think about at the start. Okay? I'm um, just going to see if there are some questions here. These are great questions yeah and ones that we will be very connected on making sure that you get the answers to yeah and I know James has some experience with all that stuff so oh, good yeah Muggsy making sales pitches more personal and less sales like yeah we that's that's um we have like specific scripts for that stuff but again even with I don't even like using the term scripts because this is about relationships that's where um, I come in yeah and it's about um, it's about, we want you to have an uh, understanding of what a challenge pack is, obviously, yeah. and the main points to give people. But as far as, as far as sales pitches and stuff, it really comes down to um, understanding what a client needs. Hmm. Do you want to go ahead? You're going to. No, go, no, no. I was so just under, reading. Understanding what a client needs, 
um, trying to find out what their goals are. And the big thing about exercise programs and people joining your accountability group because they really want to lose weight or feel better or whatever their goals are, um, you're going to get objections from people because there's not a lot of people who haven't been working out for three years and be like, yeah, I want to work out. That's just not human nature, people, because they're so scared, right? They're so afraid of failing something else. And that's typically what we come across. So yeah, you're going to get some money objections. You're going to be like, I can't afford it. Um, it's not the money typically, typically. Um, it's usually that they're just afraid to, mm -hmm. to start another workout program and fail. They're afraid of, you know, it not working for them. So what we always say is when we get into these discussions with people, um, it's more about letting them know that you're the person that's going to help them get to the spot they want to, they yeah. want to be at. And you, and you share your story on social media. You know, you share also that you are human and that you are learning through this journey too. And, you know, um, I think, you know, we listened to Shalene Johnson at summit and she said, you know, don't tell me you're going to sell me because that's the first thing people want to run away from. Mm -hmm. And, you know, don't say, have you heard of, have you tried, you know, those are the things where we, she talks a lot about curiosity marketing. And I think if you can align what's called attraction marketing with curiosity marketing and a heck of a lot of passion and purpose, then you're really going to be able to land it. And it is about sharing what you love. And it's about sharing that you're, you have a love for helping people and what this lifestyle is about. It's about sharing that you have a solution. Um, it's about sharing that you have something to offer. It's about sharing that you have, you have found something that has worked for you. And this is, you know, in those types of things. So that's what we found really works. And I, I just posted, I haven't worked out in four days and I literally just admitted that on social media and it felt really good because this isn't about being perfect. This isn't about being, you know, we slept in, I felt overwhelmed. I've been off my dad and I, you just post about that. And it, what it does is it, it, it establishes and raises your trust frequency. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be in your perfect shape. You don't have to be know everything. You just have to be willing to show up and do the best you can every day and utilize mm -hmm. what you have in order to help serve other people. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I am like loving all these little ones. I wish Tess was here. She'd be freaking out right now. Sorry, I'm just reading through some of the... And um, I'm just looking at all the children. <laughs> I'm reading through some of the, some of the questions. Yeah, like Muggsy making... Um, yeah, I mean, making the, the things that we've, that we've done as, as Facebook has kind of adapted and stuff like that is I, I started the business using like Facebook Messenger a lot to communicate with people and, um, you know, personalizing and stuff like that. But what we've moved towards with Facebook is you can now voice note with using Facebook Messenger, which is a fantastic tool. It makes it more personal. You can now video message using Facebook Messenger. Plus, the thing that everybody still forgets about is you can get on the phone with people. Yeah. And even though this is a social media business, no, people forget. Like, we forget that we can actually still talk to people on the phone. So this is a social media business. Um, it's a helping people business, mm -hmm. but what we've done in the last probably six months, six to 12 months is someone's interested in a challenge pack or they want to join our group. We're like, Hey, can we call you? And you pick up the phone and you mm -hmm. talk to them and they feel the passion in your voice and they see that you're just a regular person trying to help other people. And that's something that we've learned. Or I'll even get on zoom calls with people. Um, it's the same thing when a new coach wants to join our team. It's like, I don't just message anymore, I either voice note back and forth mm -hmm. or we pick up the phone or the yeah. zoom and we get on and we, and we talk and trust me, I'm not the most outgoing person. Like some people consider me an introvert. I can get on calls like this. I'm like a situational extrovert. I can get on stage and talk, but I'm not, I'm, I, I would consider myself a bit of a shy person. So, but you get through that stuff. And at the end of the day, I really like helping people and I like helping people mm -hmm. feel better because I lost 60 pounds using these programs and I want other people to feel that way. I want people to have success in their business. I want our coaches to succeed. So that maybe being a little bit uncomfortable getting on calls and stuff, it's worth it for me because it, yeah. it, it helps me and it helps that person, whatever their goals are. Um, so that's the way to personalize it is to be you and be passionate about what you're doing. And yeah, sometimes you're going to have to get a little uncomfortable with things. I know I have to do it every day. Um, even when I jump on our team calls, not necessarily these ones, but even our crush it ones where we get more people, I still get nervous before I do it. Because it's just, it's different and you're talking in front of people and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But that's part of growth. Um, that's part of me improving as a person and that's kind of why and I, I worry about. And I think it's part of you learning 
the business and learning what you have to offer and how you can help serve people. So I think that's also part of it too. And then being able to help people understand what the business opportunity is as well. So it is about building relationships. It isn't about, you know, sticking a message on that one size fits all. Um, we don't recommend that. And I know when you're talking about, you know, building your lists and all those types of things, you know, we also want to make sure we caution everyone to not worry about that. I want to say going back eight years, network marketing, where you're just pouring on everyone and everyone feels like they're going to lose their friends. This isn't about that. <laughs> this is the opposite of that. So, you know, we never say that we sell anything we share. And if people want to be, if people want to join what we're doing, then that means they're ready in their health and wellness journey. But I have, there, you will never, I think I asked you for two years to work out with me before mm -hmm. you actually made the decision to work out on your own and you can't lead a horse to water. But what you can do is you can show up every day on social media. You can tell a story, you can share resources and be a, and to be a storyteller and, and help people slowly come around. And that's what this business is. And some people will come around sooner than others. And some may take two years, but mm -hmm. they'll be there and you'll be there. And it's really, really works very well. Mm -hmm. And not everyone takes two years. Don't worry. <laughs> a question here from Aroshit. Yes, yeah, so I was I mean, just going to answer. Oh, go ahead. You go. Um, I think it helps. Do you want to start with? Transformation picks? Yeah, I don't think it's a necessity. There's lots of coaches, um, really successful coaches in Beachbody who don't have a transformation physically, but they have a mental transformation. Exactly. And they really talk about that a lot as well. But you don't, you don't need a dramatic transformation to be successful. That's not what this is about. This is about asking people, inviting people to join your journey and, and share a healthier lifestyle. That's what, that's what this is about. That being said, do people with great transformations, will that attract people to them? Yeah, of course. But then you have to, when you're posting those pictures, you know, you want to tell the story of, yeah. of your transformation and stuff like that, but certainly not a necessity. Yeah. And I think if I, if I can say anything too, it's really making sure that you're hitting on the whole ecosystem of somebody. So it's like, you know, your mental wellness, your, your emotional wellness, your physical wellness, all those great stuff. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just reading through. No, this. that's okay. There was another one here. Um, do you have a timetable for people who are not really good at knowing what to post? Yeah, we've got the uh, schedules and structures. Um, we have so many, so many coach tools and graphics that you can use. We even have like a weekly schedule of things that you could post. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, there's a lot of things like recipes are an easy one. Um, totally. You know, Beachbody blog has so many resources. Like it is, you could just go there and post something like copy it or get the picture, whatever speaks to you, get the recipe. There's so much information for you. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll show you all that stuff. Yeah. And, and after a while it gets easier with knowing what to post because you're kind of, for us, we just kind of share our life and what we're doing yeah. a lot of the times. Um, and part of that is a healthy lifestyle. Because yeah. people have to relate to us and understand yeah. and to trust you. Um, discount, yeah. So when you're a coach, you get a 25% discount off everything from Beachbody. Um, that's how that works. I know in Canada, we pay a, it's a $19.95 fee to be a coach every month. You get your full back office and everything you need to coach for basically $19. For you, that's probably going to be a little bit lower based on the exchange rate and stuff like that. Um, it's a pretty affordable fee for the opportunity to run a business. Um, and what are ways to sign up as a coach? Um, basically, you can just sign up and pay the coach fee if you want. For us in Canada, it's $60, but you don't get anything for that. Um, Other than your back office and your all that access to that. Yeah. yeah. For us, um, I would say 99% of the coaches that sign up on our team, they buy a challenge pack um, because when you buy a challenge pack, which is typically, it's either Beachbody On Demand. There's a bunch of different variations of challenge packs, but, but usually it's, it's Beachbody On Demand. Um, it's, it's a month of Shakeology, mm -hmm. portion control containers, all the meal guide. When you buy a challenge pack and you sign up as a coach, you get that $60 coach fee gets waived. So we usually tell people, you might as well get product and sign up as a coach rather than the $60 just going out the wind and being a coach. Um, and if you do have Beachbody On Demand already, there is a new, there's a new challenge pack that's actually, it's just Shakeology plus the Porsche control yes. containers. Yeah. And you can buy that as a challenge pack. That's a great one too. Get and that's the, the same price as the Shakeology. Yeah. Get the coach fee waived and then you're actually getting product for that and you're not just paying the coach fee for nothing. And so 99% of the people, even clients and coaches that you'll end up signing up, you'll do it with mm -hmm. the challenge pack. We have a little app on our phone. Um, 
You pull up the app. It's super easy. You get someone's email address. They want chocolate shakeology, for instance. Or daily sunshine. Whatever. They, you, you, punch, you punch in their email, yeah. their flavor. You hit submit. That goes to Beachbody. Beachbody sends your client or coach a follow-up email. They open the email. They complete it. Yeah. It's done. Product gets sent to your customer. You're, you don't have to do anything else. Again, you're not worrying about shipping. You're not worrying about the product. You're not worrying about if it's going to get there. Um, you don't have to worry about billing. You're not, you're not purchasing a bunch of products, storing it in your garage and having to resell it. Like this is so streamlined, yeah. you know, we're not paying rent. We're not paying for employees, product development, shipping, all the stuff. You don't do any transaction either. Yeah. All the stuff you have to do in a traditional business, which probably some of you have done. I know I've done it. Um, we, we, we're not responsible for any of that. Mm -hmm. Our job is to grow our business, build relationships, build your team, build your client list, run accountability groups, and help people. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's just the new way to do business. And I know in Canada, if you go to any mall around here and you look around, there's so many stores that have a rent sign on them because – People shop now, they get their groceries online, they shop for their kids, they shop for their clothes. And I still think any industry or business you're in, you need an online component to your business. Yeah, So that's great. So Claire, Claire great question. Um, okay, so you can, are you talking about sharing about the opportunity already? I think you could, you could say that you're excited about what's coming and that you're preparing for it. Mm -hmm. Um, what I'm wondering, Claire, do you think that these people would want to join you in your small town, like underneath you, or they'd want to do their own thing? Do you want to take yourself off mute? Hold on. Okay, there you go. There you go. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, I think they would want to probably be competition. Mm. That's the kind of town I live in. It's a very small town, but um, it's literally filled with gyms. There must be like 50 gyms in my town. Wow. And it doesn't have that many people. Everybody goes to the gym um, or tries to work out running clubs, loads of running clubs, things like that. So I think it could be really good here, but I think there would be a lot of people who would want to do it themselves, like probably without me. So I was like, should I or shouldn't I? Well, you never, you never know that either right so I think that's a really good question um, I think you can so I think that you would be able to prom start to promote what you're doing and I don't think that's a bad thing you have to remember too that the people living in your town will not be the clients you serve yeah you have no boundaries on social media yeah so you will be helping people in Canada you will be helping people in the state you'll be you will be helping the people who you grow your team with probably won't be the ones living in your town. Yeah. So that's just something to consider. So what I would recommend doing is I would start dropping some hints that yeah. you're doing something. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, um, I mean, you already had to do really well at social media, Claire. So I think, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Um, I think that if you wanted to start talking about a new business venture, or maybe you want to think about your logo, or maybe you want to think about, um, a team name that you're going to start to develop or things like that. Like maybe that's the business side you want to start thinking about. Um, and you can certainly be sharing your workouts and, and that kind of stuff. But I, my best advice for all of you is do not, do not operate out of a scarcity mindset. This is a big ocean yeah. <laughs> and a big world. And this is a big, big, big opportunity and you are going to shine and you are going to flourish. And I don't want you to be worried that there will be competition because the only competition is being better than you were yesterday. And I know we hear that all the time. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's true, especially in this business. You cannot be looking at what anybody else is doing in the business because it will hinder you. Mm -hmm. You will attract your, your vibe. Claire will attract your tribe and you will be successful and it will be fun and it will be awesome and it will be rewarding. So that's my best advice for you. Be you, be brave, be bold, and I would say go for it. If you feel like you wanna post something, do not be afraid. If anything, they're gonna be like, what's she doing? How is she doing that? What do you mean you're talking to people in Canada? Because you aren't gonna be living in, you aren't going to be staying within the walls of your, small, of your smaller town. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be going against the, uh, across the globe. Yep. And that's pretty damn exciting. Yeah, okay, thanks. You're so welcome. I hope that answered. And we can talk anytime more and more about it. Okay. Thank you.
Of course. And I think Muggsy said the same thing. <laughs> Muggsy, did that help to answer? Okay. Um, how will people sign up on launch day? Um, so essentially, it's going to be um, use of the mobile app. Um, I still have to, I still have to, to talk to corporate office about whether the, they're going to have the app available for you and how that's going to work. Because sometimes you can also send links for people, and with this new interface they're coming out with, they may slightly alter that. But what I foresee happening is basically. Um, Everyone gets signed up on day one if that's what you want. And it's basically enter entering orders and the emails come through and you guys complete the orders and then you're a coach. And as soon as you get as soon as you get that email come through that says confirmed you're a coach. Confirm it. You're 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 literally <laughs> yeah. like it's it's you've launched your business. And we'll talk we'll talk about all the stuff, but essentially, yeah, yeah the the faster you complete your order, the faster you are in the coach, and then all the other people will be and then Joining. if you have coaches that you're adding as soon as your as soon as you complete your coach application you will then take the app let's say you have another coach to sign up maybe it's your spouse cousin maybe you have five coaches maybe some of you are going to have 15 coaches to sign up because you're starting to network with people yep. you're going to take the app or we're going to have already trained you how to use the app before that you're going to pull it up you're going to have your list of people you sign them up as a coach or a client or whatever you do and that's that's how that launch day is going to work. Yeah. I hope that makes sense. It trust me. Launch day in Canada when it happened 4 years ago, it was like crazy. I wasn't here. I've just we weren't coaches then, but I've heard stories and that's when the back office was not as efficient as it was now. So I don't see too many problems happening. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be a lot of coaches signing up on day one. Yeah, and it's exciting. And, I, and I, like we said, we will be there. We will be without our children. So we will be, <laughs> like, ready to work and serve and support and answer questions um, and be there. So I think it's exciting. And, yeah, these are really good questions for sure. Um, yeah, so, Anne, how do you get your profile out? So first thing is I would uh, open up your profile to being public. If it is not already, sometimes we have our pri our profile set as private. And, and some people have jobs, maybe that. And they don't some do and that. some people may, so we can talk about that. There is training that we have for Facebook um, business pages, which we can we can start to talk about maybe in the next. As soon as we start the training, that will be kind of the first things we start to focus on is some of that social media training. Mm -hmm. If that's helpful for everybody, how to do a cover banner, how to you know those types of things. Yep. Right. Yep. YouTube. Um, I'm just starting to get into YouTube as far as like getting, I think I have about 400 subscribers on there or something. It's mostly probably just coaches, Colby. coaches in the network who are, who are looking at some of the training yeah. I do. Cause all of my trainings on YouTube, you guys. So if you ever, if you ever want to go and you can go watch yes. all of our team calls and training, it's, it's all, all there. It's not, maybe not all of it. Some of it I hold back for our coaches because I don't want to give it all away. Um, cause we do have some competitive advantages on our team, but a lot of it is on there. Yeah. Um, and I always say it's great as a coach to be a sponge and to learn as much as you can. Um, but I don't think as a new coach, um, Yelena, I don't think YouTube is probably where I'd spend my time right now. Maybe down the road yeah. as we get into it, that's something you get to, but I, I wouldn't say unless, unless you're really skilled with YouTube and you've used it in the past and you've had some traction, I would say maybe use that. But right now, it wouldn't be where I because wouldn't be where I'd focus my time mm -hmm. necessarily. Yeah, um, right now, I'd focus on Facebook, Instagram, um, anything else for you, and and pe pe and people you know, your friends and family from around the UK, Canada, wherever, um, people you know in person. That's that's where I would focus my thing. And remember, I guys, I grew the business. I come from like a town of five thousand people in northern mm -hmm. Canada. Um, I it's not like you know, I, I had a fairly decent network. I think I had, I don't know, I might have had 500 friends on Facebook. I didn't use Instagram at all. Um, my first couple months, I basically signed up friends and family and some people I'd known from high school. And then we ran a really great accountability group. They loved it. They started getting results. And then they would tell people about it. Mm -hmm. And they would tell their friends, hey, Jamie's running a great group. Kim and Jamie are running great accountability group. I'm getting some really good results. And then that's just how it started to snowball. Yeah. And they would tell friends and they would tell friends. And then we'd introduce people, you know, someone would come in the group, 
as a client, they lose 15 pounds. They start to feel great. Yeah. Um, and we kind of bring up the coaching opportunity. Like, Hey, if, if this is something you love and you love the programs, why don't you think about becoming a coach and share what you love about it? Yeah. And that's as organic as the process is. And they're like, well, and a lot of people are like, Oh, I don't think I can coach right away. Cause it's human nature. It scares them. They're it's, it's something new. But after a while, it's kind of like they realize that, you know, anyone can be a coach. It doesn't yeah. matter what size, shape, anything like that. This is just yeah. about inspiring people and showing that you're, you're asking people to join them on your wellness journey. And, um, that's why I always love, love people who are in love with the products because, sorry, yeah. yeah. Brian, should we encourage friends, etc. to sign up for, oh, sorry, yeah. Jenny, to, <laughs> she's for, tricky, she's tricky now. To sign up for Beachbody now or wait till we are coaches. Um, I think it's okay if they sign up for Beachbody On Demand. I do too. Um, the one thing you want to think about is if they are going to be signing up as a coach, um with you, then you can change them over. The thing we need to remember is that everyone that signs up on demand isn't assigned to anybody. So if they do sign up for on demand, just keep a list of them. And then when you're able to have, when the launch date comes, you can send them the little link that says, make me your coach with your specific coach ID, takes them two minutes and then they're signed up. So yeah, you can totally do that. And then, but I would have a plan for launch day. So you can say, I'm really looking forward to continuing to support you. Shakeology is now available. We can talk about all that next steps or different options. But the first thing you can do is get them to for free, make you their coach and that you've got some clients in your back office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good, cool, great question. Sorry. We're just looking through here. Oh, hold on. Joanna, Joanne. Yeah, Joanne, um, if you can't use your personal page, um, I would use your business page. But you can use your warm market, which is private. It's a private page before you have to put it public, and then you can use your, your business page as a public page. Yeah, and I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use it. I, the only thing I would use your group for, Joanne, is you can set up your accountability group. Yeah. And use that as your group on Facebook. And that's where I would, I would put people once they become your clients or if you want to run like a free group before yeah. it launches or an accountability group before it launches, yeah. that's where I would put people. But you're definitely going to have to have either your personal page or your business page to, for people to connect and find you, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Those are great questions, guys. And this is stuff we can talk about as we go with training and on our one-on-one -on -one yeah. calls because everyone has specific things that they're totally. going to need. So. Yeah. So does that sound like a good plan of action? We're from here, we're going to set up some one-on-one -on -one Zooms. We're going to keep the group Zooms going. We're going to start to um, dovetail some training in. Yeah, and, and, then, and uh, remember, all as we get into the training, I'm going to have a Google Docs link that's going to have, it's going to break down the timeline of all the training I give yeah. you. So at any time, if you have a coach who's interested or you want to go back at any time, you're going to be able to look at the timeline of the training that we give you. So you can access any of the, the uh, resources we give you, any of the team calls like this that we've given you. And you can basically say, listen, in my group, this is what we've done the last month. And you can hand someone the training. And then what we're going to do is once we've dived into all the a lot of the main training I want you guys to go through, it, and I'm not going to give you everything because it's not worth it right now because the hardest thing about learning is if you can't tangibly take it and use it and put it into practice, it's hard to really sink in because you guys are all just sitting here like with three months to wait and you're, you're getting this training, but you can't actually yeah. use it. And that's the, that's the toughest way to learn. It's the toughest way to learn because you're not actually – putting it into action. But there are some things like social yes. media and the face that you can start Absolutely. to do now. That's the back work that's going to prepare you for when you launch. Yeah. Right. So you have to think about it that way too. All of this is going to prepare you to really rock the launch. Yeah. So any other questions guys? Let me just scroll through here. Any other questions? The funny part, I know you could ask questions probably all night because there's, I can only imagine all the things that you want to know, like that are coming and stuff. Yeah, I agree, Jenny. And you're a wizard with your videos. <laughs> I still ask questions every day about Beachbody. I know. No, it's true. It's just constant learning, right? I know. So don't don't ever feel like you you don't ever feel like you need to know it all or will know it all because that's not possible. Totally. It's just. That's what, that's what our team will be for. That's what Kim and I are here for, um, is to ask questions and learn 
Um, and I always tell people at some point in this process, you're, you're going to be a little overwhelmed. That's just part of mm-hmm. it. I was, we still get a little bit yeah. overwhelmed, but you know what? Overwhelmed is like just a feeling and stuff. So, um, that's what we're all here for is to calm yeah. your nerves and, 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 and just get excited and yeah, yeah. It's going to be great. Anything else guys? We're good. Good. Oh, someone's off mute. Got a question? No? Time to pull on the cleats, James. <laughs> yes. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. All, All right. right. So, Have a great night. So, so we're going to uh, – I'll post the, uh, the day and a, a bunch of time slots for when you can sign up for a one-on-one Zoom. And what we'll do is we'll post one link of a Zoom. We'll do like either 20 or 30-minute slots depending on how many people sign up. And we'll post the same link. So when we're on with Zoom with someone – the next person can just hop on and it'll be a signal for the other person. We'll just transition. And yeah. if it's all day on zoom, we'll be here with you all day on zoom one after the other. Um, and then we'll do that. And so just sign up and we'll go from there. Yeah. Cool. Sound good. Awesome. Thanks awesome. for your time guys. We appreciate it. Yeah. Have an awesome night guys. Really excited. See ya. See ya.